Hey guys. Uh, I'm doing kind of a pickup video and also to add on to my one year thing, my special I was doing, another YouTuber suggested that I should uh, do a tour of everything I've gotten. I mean, I've gotten quite a bit of stuff in this past year, but I mean, when I moved into this apartment a few months, you know, five or six months ago, I did a tour, so it's not a ton of new stuff, but I mean, I got quite a bit of new things, so just, uh, yeah, I'm doing a tour. Um, first off, I guess I'll start with my games. I'm going to try to smash all this into one video so I don't have to upload multiple ones. But yeah, I'll start off with my games. Walking over here, starting off with my NES. These are just some games I got. Just moving down. Willow is one of my favorites. I've mentioned that in the past. Castlevania on the bottom. Hydlide. Terrible game. This thing has trouble focusing. And then I also got my uh, Game Genie with the original book. My boxed Super Nintendo games, I got Jurassic Park, Miss Pac-Man, Street Fighter 2, Spider-Man, X-Men, Arcade Revenge, and these two I got today, The Page Master and Star Trek Next Generation. Uh, this game, Star Trek, has everything, a poster, a manual, the mailbag thing, everything is in there. It even comes with a, the game sleeve and whatnot. And here's my Super Nintendo games. I got two copies of Super Battleship, I don't even know why. You'll see it here in a sec. There's the other one. Now, I'm not going to show you all my N64 games because I don't feel like flipping them all over, but you know, I just got a lot of them. <laughs> yeah. My boxed N64 games. And all my the Game Boy Reader, a couple me memory card, two jump packs. Uh, my Dreamcast games, excluding one, which you'll see in a minute. Computer games, Sonic R, amazing game. Sega CD and Saturn games. And then Moving down here, my Genesis, those are my loose games, I try to get all my games, this is all sports, that game up there is actually sealed, factory, not so important games, this is all my other ones, believe it or not, Bell's Quest is actually a pretty fun game. PS2 and PS1 games. Not a huge collector of these. Hack Infection is actually awesome. So is Inuyasha and PS1. That's all my loose games in that little case. Alright, moving over to my Atari stuff, which, as you guys should know, is probably my most cherished part of my collection. On the screen, my most recent purchase, pretty much, is Chase the Chuck Wagon. Playing on my Atari 7800. Um, got this in box IndyCar. This is actually the game and everything. Two controllers. My remote control thing for the, the Atari. And that's a tape player for my uh, Dragon Stomper game. The Sears Video Arcade 2. I love this thing so much. This thing is awesome. Underneath of all this is my Sears Telegames 2 Star Path Supercharger. Wood Grain 2600 in the Atari Game Center. There's actually more games underneath there, but they're pretty much all doubles of these. Atari 2600 Junior. Atari 2600 Vader. My 
Sears. I'm not Sears, what am I thinking? Uh, Mattel and Television. Yeah, it's getting a little dusty. Don't play it too often. 5200 with the Atari 2600 VCS cartridge adapter. This thing's a beast. My Sears Video Arcade 2 controllers. This, these things are amazing. I'll tell you that much. Bunch of manuals. And this box is full of my controllers. Packed tight. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm trying to rush things. I just don't want this video to be like 20 minutes long. My Intellivision stuff. Those are manuals. Kool-Aid Man thing. I don't have the Intellivoice yet, but I will. Promise. <laughs> All in alphabetical order, my Atari games. This is going to be a teaser for you guys for the future. Which one am I missing? You guess. Soon to be in my collection. You guys know what I'm talking about. My iMagic games. My 7800 games. 5200 and then my... These are actually ColecoVision games here. But these are my Coleco Atari games. And yeah. That's my Atari stuff. Moving over here to my other shelf of games. On the TV I have playing The House of the Dead 2 for the Dreamcast, which is what I was mentioning. It is used on this awesome gun, which I'll show you. You press start. And you... This game is amazing. Yeah. I love this thing. But anyways, that's the House of the Dead too. Love that game. Over here, got a mini PS1, PlayStation 2 Slim, right here, PS2, fat, two PlayStation 1s with a wireless controller, which is what these two, and then two of these uh, stick things that you can put four controllers on. My Model 3 Genesis, it's a little dusty. My GameCube. Oh, this game is playing on the Sega Sports Dreamcast underneath the regular US version. My Halo 3 Edition Xbox 360 and Halo Special Edition original Xbox. I need to do some serious dusting. My N64 and Sega Saturn. Yeah, that's this one. I got a couple game selectors on top. Some Elder Scrolls whatnot. Uh, moving over here, I will show you my big ass box of controllers. Just a bunch of random stuff. Random racing N64 controller. Uh, I'm not going to go through them all. My power pad, which you guys have seen. My PlayStation accessories, uh, all the joysticks and whatnot. That is the DJ Hero Renegade set. My boxed Commodore 64, boxed Sega Master System 3D set. And then, I'm sure you guys have remembered all this. My wall of boxed stuff. Hasn't changed a whole lot. On my TV over here, I have flashback playing on my Atari Jaguar, which is right there. On my, this is my normal game shelf. I have my Xbox I play daily. My Panasonic FC10 3DO. Don't have any games for it yet, because I just got it. Uh, I guess I'll show you all these games. That's Skyrim. Laser Suit Larry. Amazing game. <laughs> 
all my Guitar Heroes rock bands and whatnot, DJ Heroes. And all my other games got PGR3, Fear 2, and all those. Got some random stuff back there. Not so important. Got my childhood Nintendo here. Yeah, it's got some age to it. My Nintendo I play plus this crappy clone thing. Super Nintendo Jaguar. Crappy hyperscan. <laughs> my Sega CD Model 2, Sega Genesis Model 2 and 32X all hooked up ready to go. Two spare Model 2 Genesis's and a Model 1 Genesis with this Model 1 Sega CD, which I just recently got, got fixed. Two Sega Game Gears, the bottom one screen stopped working. An Atari Lynx 1. Uh, a black Game Boy original with a bunch of games. I'm not going to go through all these, I'm sorry. My Pokemon Edition Game Boy Color. My Game Boy Micro. This is like a junk drawer full of random extra stuff. Like extender cables for the Dreamcast, for the Genesis, Atari. Wiimote stuff. Goo gone. Another Model 2 Atari Lynx. Broken. Screen doesn't work. Model 1 Lynx. This thing works awesome. The volume is crazy on this thing. My Game Boy original with this handy boy. This thing's a beast. Oh, I forgot. I've got these two games plus the a golf game somewhere. I think it's in. This is my DS games. I don't play the DS too often. It's Guitar Hero stuff. Band Hero thing for it. And here, let me get it out, is my Japanese Game Boy Light. Still wrapped up in the plastic. Not going to take it out of here, but still in the plastic. Yeah, my Game Boy Advance with Pokemon Yellow there. I play that game a lot. Manuals. It's a mess, I'm sorry. Some plug and plays. This is where all the power adapters for everything go. Um, this is like a junk drawer with extra controllers, wires, more wires down there, an Xbox bag. Um, let's see here. Move over to my computer area. I actually went and picked up that Space Invaders game yesterday. Um, yeah, you guys have all seen this stuff before. More plug and plays. My DS. Pokemon Black 2 and a game, sh or a action replay. Uh, yeah, just some collectible things. Collectible Guitar Hero. Guitar picks. I'm just surrounded here. And yeah, you guys have seen all these guitars hanging all around my living room. I do believe that about concludes this video. Oh, wait, no. I got all my box games up here. I put them on the ceiling, plus my doubles. You know, put them up there on a shelf. Yeah. I do believe that about concludes this. I'm sorry if this video drug on, I tried to hurry through it, just, it was just a quick video I thought about doing, so yeah, just, uh, if you like it, thumbs up, if not, thanks for watching anyways.